Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Cassava Sciences. I hope I am saying that right, but it's ticker symbol S-A-V-A. This company has gone after hours from $20 all the way up to $27. Bucks. And a lot of people might be saying, well, Carter, why do I care? And I understand that, right? But here's the thing. We had a legendary investor known as Stanford uh, Robertson, he invested into over $2 million into this company, and that's rated right at about 100,000 shares. And anytime you have a company or somebody like that buy or invest into a company, you're going to have people like myself or other retail investors say, hey, I want to invest in this guy's company that he believes in. He's he has a proven track record of investing. So obviously, we had a lot of investors invest into this company. On top of that, we had a CFO purchase about 2,500 shares at about $19. And anytime you have another CFO or somebody inside the business uh, investing back into the business, that is just another reason to buy it. So what does this company do that wants people to invest. Well, this company is actually a pharmaceutical company that has been working on clinical trials of uh, the legendary disease known as Alzheimer's. This company is working on preventing that, uh, maintaining that, and a whole bunch of other things. And looking back, you know, if we actually go ahead and we go to the daily chart, you'll see just how kind of volatile this stock is where it's had some crazy moves where it's gone from, you know, a dollar to 117 back down, you know, to 30 back up to 150 back down to 40 back up to 100. And now that we've seen such um such low sell off from this stock, you know, a lot of people have been picking up shares because if it gets that move again, you're looking at, you know, times 3 times 4 and times 5 ing your money. But the issue we face with this company, right? They don't bring in any cash, right? They have a revenue of zero dollars. So meaning the company's probably burning through cash. They're going to be very, very, very volatile, just like we've seen on the chart. So answering that question that everybody has is, Carter, should I buy this stock? So I definitely think there's two approaches, right? The first approach is, why, why would I invest into a sinking ship? The company doesn't bring in any revenue. The company's burning through cash. Uh, I'm going to stay away from it. I want to touch that with the 100 foot pole. The second approach you could have is, okay, high risk, high reward. I'm not going to go heavy into this thing. Maybe I'll invest 0.5%, 1% of my portfolio size into a company like this. And if we get a move back up to you know, 50, maybe I'll buy a little more. If this thing squeezes out to 150, maybe I'll sell it. But understanding that this stock is going to be high risk, high reward, and very, very volatile, meaning this thing could, before it hits 150, uh, it could sell off back down to six dollars, five dollars, one dollar even. So it's going to have a lot more volatility than you know a company like Apple or Microsoft or Google, a company like that. This company doesn't bring in any revenue, doesn't bring in any cash, and earnings and and stuff like that is going to have such a large effect on this stock. But it's a fun one to invest in. Curing Alzheimer's, if this company can do it, they're going to make a ton of cash, guys, obviously. So high risk, high reward play for sure. You know, it does have some pretty strong support at 15, some resistance up here at about 31. So you can make, you know, some swing trades accordingly. So guys, that's kind of what's going on with this company, why we've seen some crazy squeezes and answering that question of should you buy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.